Hey there guys, welcome back to this YouTube series where we'll be making our very own difficulty chart obby. Alright, so first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make the conveyor. Alright, so in order to make this, we're going to get a part and we're gonna put it into the workspace. We're gonna put it right here and okay, so let's make it so that it's a nice conveyor that will lead to another base here. And since it, since this is an effortless level, I'm just going to make it face the opposite way. But you can make this however you want. I'm just making this like this for the sake of the tutorial. So I'm just going to copy this checkpoint right here and move it over here. And I'm going to change this to 3. So to make this a conveyor, we're going to grab this part and insert a script. And I'm going to name this script to something like conveyor script. And I'm going to delete this first line and let's write while true do. And then we're going to do script dot parent uh, dot parent dot velocity is equal to script dot parent dot C frame dot look vector dot uh, times, let's say something like 0 0.5. And then we're going to do wait uh, 0 0.1 so that it doesn't crash our script. So now that we spawn in, we can see that we go to our first stage here and we're on stage two. Oh, one thing that I forgot is I forgot to anchor our conveyor here. So, yep, I'm going to spawn in here and let's move on to our second stage. So now we're on stage two. And as you can see, our conveyor moves us back. But very slowly so i'm gonna time this by something like four wait uh that's not it and so i'm gonna times it by something like four and also to see where the look vector is because we don't know where the conveyor will be facing to do this we're going to want to go to toolbox and just grab an image uh just grab a decal in images and what we're going to do is we're going to just put the image, any image on our part here. I'm just going to name it conveyor real quick. We're going to put it on our part. We go to front. It will be here, which means that our conveyor will move towards there. So, yeah, that's how you do it, basically. So let's just test this again and see if this works. And as we can see, the conveyor works and it pushes us back. So it works. All right. So now that we have our conveyor finished, uh, we're going to add some decorations because this doesn't even look like a conveyor. So we're going to have to make it look like a conveyor. So I'm going to make it a bit darker, something like that. All right. So to do this, first, we're going to add a beam. And after that, we're going to add a attachment and we're going to name it attachment zero. We're going to move this attachment to the place where we want, uh, where we want the conveyor to come from. And that's going to be right on top of the end of this conveyor right here, just like so. And then I'm going to duplicate it and put it right here. And I'm going to name it attachment one. Now I'm going to go to the beam and select these attachments over here with the same name. As you can see, the, the texture is spawning, but it's spawning the wrong way. And that is not good. So in order to fix this, we're going to rotate it 90 degrees on the orientation. So I'm going to do the same for both of them. And as you can see, we have arrows pointing that way i'm going to link the texture in the description if you want to use it but you can use whatever you want so i'm going to go to the beam and i'm going to set the texture length to the maximum and i'm just going to set the texture mode to wrap so that the texture will look better and i'm going to change the i'm going to change the width here to something like five and the width one to something like five 
uh, maybe something like 10. So after that, I'm going to make it look a bit better by setting the transparency to zero and maybe increasing the texture length a bit. So as you can see, when we spawn in, we can see that we have a nice conveyor that pushes us back. So yeah, you can use this however you want in your game and you can change the speed however you want. So that's the conveyor done. So the next thing we're going to be doing is the kill brick. So I'm going to make another stage. we're going to start making the kill bricks so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a part and let's just change the material to something like neon and i'm going to make these blocks which the player will have to jump over and i'm going to make it fairly easy because it's effortless so i'm just going to put one right here and now we're going to call this part kill brick and before I, we start making, I recommend you to get every stage and just group them together. Except for the uh, except for the checkpoint. And just to make everything more organized, just select everything here. And just name them like, for example, stage 1, stage 2. So that everything is just more organized for your game. So now that I, now that I made this part. I'm going to select it and I'm going to add a script and I'm just going to call it kill script and this script is going to be fairly easy. I'm going to do script.parent.touched connect function hit local character is equal to hit dot parent and after that I'm going to do local humanoid is equal to character dot humanoid and after i do this so we're gonna write if humanoid then and then we're gonna do humanoid dot health is equal to zero and basically what this does is if we touch this block as we will see right now it will kill us so let's have a look Wait, I just forgot. I have to anchor this and let's see. We have a error here. So instead of this, I'm going to do if character dot humanoid and I'm going to do character dot humanoid. And now I'm going to play and check if this kill brick works. So let's just go through our stages over here. So let's touch our kill brick right now. And if we touch it, we will have, we will probably die. So as we can see, we died and we respawn back at our spawn point. So if we just jump over right now, we go to stage four. And also I forgot to name this four so now that if we go to stage four and we touch this kill brick we will respawn at stage four so thank you for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe to see more parts and in the next tutorial we will be making a gui and also a developer product where we'll be able to skip over here skip stages and also go back stages and we will also make a system that will save data so that when we respawn our stage will be at the stage that we left